Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. It feels so good to be back. And today we're gonna be doing a review of an SH figure art. Jiren, stay tuned. All right guys, but before we get started into the video, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Sean Maylet. Uh, Sean Maylet, thank you so much for purchasing some of my figures. These are two figures that I sent him. I appreciate that. Um, thank you for sending me a picture. Looks like you have all the figures now. Uh, it's cool that he has um, all, all the figures now. He has Chip Hazard, Big Bazooka, uh, Kip Killigan, uh, Butch Meehook, uh, Link Static, and Nick Nitro all on his shelf. That's pretty freaking awesome. Now that he has all of them, that's pretty cool. And that's what I like to do is give people, you know, the opportunity to have the whole collection because I've always wanted my own collection. That's the reason why I started doing these uh, small soldier guys. And um, so yeah, there's another picture of the figures I sent him. And so uh, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, because of you guys, I still have my show and I could still do um, YouTube. Because of y'all, everyone that's purchased something from my from my either my eBay store or something directly from me, uh, whether it's either repaints or custom figures, I appreciate you guys so much. Because of you guys, uh, like I said, I, I get to do these fun videos for you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, especially now with the whole coronavirus thing going around. I hope all of you guys stay safe. I hope all of you guys didn't get any of the coronavirus, and I hope you guys don't get any coronavirus. And this whole thing passes by and we could, you know, get back to doing our natural thing or our usual nice happy things that we usually do. Anyways, uh, let's get right into the video. Thank you again, Sean. Appreciate it. All right, guys. So we are doing another review of an SH figure arts. I've been addicted to collecting these guys. I've been, honestly, I've been buying them every single time I saw one of my, um, uh, one of my custom figures um, I just get into <laughs> to buy one of these guys um, it's crazy like these things are amazing the way they're created they're freaking amazing uh, they're an expensive side but uh, I think they're worth it uh, the way these things are made I mean Bandai just they knock it out of the park with these guys um, originally I didn't want to get this guy uh, I didn't really like Jiren as a character. I I mean, uh, the way he looks, to me, it looks just like a plain old simple alien. <laughs> it looks like your old classic alien looking faces and stuff like that. With the, with the you know, with the bulky body. And that's that's basically it. The muscular body and then that's it. Uh, that's basically it. That's what they went with. And he's supposed to be one of the strongest guys in the universe. Uh, I don't understand how that works. But... Uh, how could you, you know what I mean? The simple design and he's got to be the strongest. They should have made him really look really, really cool. But uh, they just, you know, they went with this. So originally I didn't want to take this guy because for that reason. Because I didn't really like the, the design of this dude. But since I got it, <laughs> I don't regret grabbing this dude. He is freaking amazing. It's like every other SH figure art, this thing is incredible um so let me show you let me show you the, the specs of this thing so one side that's the front side obviously that's the other side with a few little pictures of him and then this is the back your typical sh figure art box um and then that's the top that's the bottom for those of you who are interested in that um but let's open him up and let's talk a little bit more about him so right out of the box, you can see that he comes with a whole lot of accessories. This is a uh, for uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku when he grabs his head. Um, there's like a fire fist, and then over here is another piece of the fire. I guess you can connect it to that. Um, and then he has cross hands. He has one, two, three, four heads, and then he has one, two, three, four, five uh, change. Oh, six if you count this one. Six changeable hands. Um, seven, eight. 9, 10 if you count those <laughs> but he has a lot of accessories for a uh, figure I think this guy was going for 60 bucks but I'm not 100% sure just so you guys know I am not the richest dude in the world 
I always I always bargain shop. Always, 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 always bargain shop. I don't think I've ever, ever, ever paid full price for any of the, my SH figure arts. Either I got them on sale or on eBay as a bid and it was a really, really low bid or it's buy it now and it was really, really low. Or I go to stores and I wait for a coupon and that's the only way I would purchase an SH figure arts because they are expensive figures, um, but they sure are worth it. They really are worth it. I mean, if it was a custom figure, of course, the price wouldn't matter because it's a custom figure and it's made for me and stuff like that. Um, so I wouldn't mind paying the price for a custom figure. But as far as the uh, figures that they make, you know, millions of it and um, it's a big, big company, then it doesn't really matter. Like, you know, the price shouldn't be so high for something like that. It's just a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of You know what I mean? If it's just a replica, but if it's a custom figure that somebody took their time and put art and uh, put all kinds of stuff into it, then it'll be worth the money. But, you know, whatever. I'm just rambling on. Let's open him up. I'm opening him off screen because when you open these packets up, everything tends to fly. So let me just uh, open it up. All right. He is out of the box now. And here he is. So as you guys can see, his face is just like a regular alien looking face. I don't like that. I should have given him like, I don't know, mohawk or horns or some kind of beard, crazy eyes, something. Something other than just, you know, bald alien looking head. Uh, the design on this dude, I really didn't like. But like when you get him in hand, like these SH figure arts, I don't know what it is about these SH figure arts, but they're really freaking awesome. Especially the articulation. I mean, you guys look at all the articulation and all the SH figure arts are really freaking awesome. It goes back that much. And then the butterfly wings and the butterfly shoulders, I should say. You can't forget about the butterfly shoulders. Love figures with butterfly shoulders. They're freaking awesome. And this is one of the more like bulkier ones. Um, if you look at if you compare it to like Goku or uh, uh, Gohan or any of the regular figures, this guy is pretty bulky compared to those other two guys. Uh, the height wise, not that much taller. Uh, I think Goku is like up to here or something. But um, as far as like muscles, yeah, he's a lot, a lot fit, a lot more fit than uh, than Goku is. But um, that's why he's one of the most powerful guys in the universe. <laughs> So anyways, he comes with these other faces. Oh, I didn't even finish the articulation, so you got a rotation there. Of course, you got this coming up down, this like this, forward like that. You can show his muscles. Oh, baby, yeah. So turn that, double joint, of course, and then his hand swivels like this. You can rotate it all the way. Uh, his head goes all the way down like that looks that much up his head doesn't look that much up because of this Big old muscle muscles up here. There's some big old muscles up there. It doesn't let him like look but he could you know do the uh, What is it? What is it called? Ah, I forgot what it's called uh, the low stick thing. There you go uh, Whatever it is leave it in the comments down below. I completely forgot what it was called uh, I don't know what the heck is wrong with me. I'm losing my mind, man. I think this coronavirus is killing me. I don't know what's going on. So anyways, kicks forward that much. Uh, there's another double joint at the knees. His foot goes down that much. There is a swivel there and there is a rotate. You could rotate his foot completely all the way around, but I don't want to do that because I might mess it up. And then his toe has a hinge on it there. Uh, goes back down back that way you can almost do the van dan split van dam for those of you who are young i don't know if you guys understand who van dam is he was one of the action heroes back in the days back in the 90s um but anyways that's the articulation on this dude pretty good articulation i really like this thing but the thing is that um you have to have a goku in order to you know use it or else he's just walking around with hair in his hand like uh you know where does his hair come from his butt <laughs> you could put him as a wig or something get him get him looking like a like a broke like a you know like a ghetto goku some ghetto goku <laughs> make him look like a ghetto goku you know a mohawk or something anyways yeah you have to have a goku in order to you know use that 
little thing there but they have this uh, fire fist thing that goes on his fist like that and it punches hard or you could just switch his fist if I could get it out of here there we go so it's a little clear yellowish fist uh, that's the one that you use to put it in here so it can look more more transparent I guess but so he has an open hand there open palm and then here's his hand kind of like a karate chop to the neck karate action there like like um like bus light year and then he has this hand like a tiger claw and that's one of the faces he has maybe if I take him out of the picture focus better this is yelling face see how it looks much better when it has the red eyes than having like just plain simple eyes they would have just kept red eyes like that it would have made a difference I think so I think it would have made a difference but that's his mad face and then so one of them's yelling face with his red eyes and then another one's a yellow face with the regular eyes so and then you can always cross his arms let me do that now the way you do that is you pop this sucker out uh, pop this sucker out like so and then you put in there, like that, and you put this like a. Hold on, let me, let me, let me kind of twist them up a little bit like this way. There we go. Now it could be a voice from the hood. What's up, yo? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it, man. I think my brain's rotting anyway <laughs> so that's it for this dude as far as review goes um i hope you enjoyed this little weird review uh if you did please don't forget to hit the thumbs up uh once again thank you guys so much for purchasing stuff from my store i will be doing more um small soldiers so those of you who wanted a small soldier figure um i am doing nick nitro and i am doing more butch meat hooks and i'm doing a bunch of them i'm doing a whole army of them uh because i don't like they always sell so i figured maybe i could um make a whole army of them and once the whole army's done then i could start selling them that way because they always sell so i don't want to you know take the money first now and then uh take take the money and then create it for them because it's a long process it's a super super long process to make one of these figures that i make uh the custom figures that i make it's, it takes like two weeks to make one figure uh because you have to work you have to wait for the polymer clay to not the polymer clay the epoxy clay to to uh dry up and then you sand it and then you uh, the way i like to do it i sand it then i paint it and then I sand the parts that don't look right. And I go back and I paint it and so on and so on. It's, it's, it's a long process. So I want to make a whole army before I start selling them again. That way I have enough for the people that want to order some. Um, so if you guys are interested in getting some of those. Um, they will be on my eBay store as soon as I'm done with them. And then um, I might make another um, uh, Troclocon might make another truck gun. not 100 percent sure but i might make another one if you guys are interested in that that guy might be on my ebay store soon or somebody already had asked for one so i might give it to them so i don't know i don't know anyways uh i'm not even i'm getting off the subject here uh, this guy jiren done completely done with the review i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to hit the thumbs up i know i already said this but if you guys are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one. Peace.